Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing four different UHC texture packs that you can use for your future games. And also in this video, we're going to be doing a Lunar Cloak giveaway. If you don't have the patience to wait to see who won the giveaway, you can go in the description, click the link to my Lunar Cloak, and just buy it on the Lunar Store. The first texture pack we're going to be using is Specular 40k, but it's Potatoes version, it's not Burritos. Also, straight after this, we're going to go into the survival world and I can show you guys all the ores and stuff like that, so stick around for that. And yeah, if you like the texture pack, then you can just download it in the description. And we won the duel. Let's go. Look how good this cloak looks with this purple armor. Like, why would you not want to buy this? Buy whichever one you want, but I mean, mine goes well with like black and purple. So if you like those colors, then check it out. I'd say the iron armor is very different to this. When you get diamond armor, you want it to look good, so that's a bonus. Like, when you get it, it's quite rewarding because it looks nice. Diamonds are really bright and they're animated too. Here's everything else. Ender pearl, fishing rods, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's get into the next texture pack. Now, the next one we're going to be using is Kale Mash V2. I'm not too sure about this texture pack, to be honest. Like, one time using it, I'll love it. And then, like, the next, I'll be like, why am I using this pack? But yeah, it's like a Shant V4 revamp type of thing. And it's got this really cool looking sword that everyone loves. So yeah, it is pretty nice. Also, the bow is very original. I mean, I don't really know why I haven't been using it recently, but it's definitely a good texture pack that I should be using more. There's even a red version, so if you guys would like that, then subscribe and like the video. And maybe I'll do it in the next texture pack review. And we should be able to win this still. Sandwich party over here with his burger cape. <laughs> You're gonna die. There we go. Let's go. And we're back into the survival world. And as you can see, all the ores are just like the outlined normal ones from the infinite texture pack. It's actually crazy how many texture packs have these ores. I don't know if they originated from the infinite texture pack. Like if that was the first ever pack to have outlined ores. But yeah, I mean, every pack has it and it looks good. So yeah, I mean, no complaints right there. All the armors just from like Shant V4. Now the bow is probably one of my favorite things from this texture pack. I don't know, something about it being like chunky. Uh, it just makes it better. I don't know why. And we just had a little showcase right there, but it disappeared. Now the next texture pack is going to be Salvation Pack, which is made for Smacked. I'm pretty sure the video I found for it was uploaded like three or four years ago. So, I mean, a lot of people probably don't have this. But yeah, the colour of the swords is really cool, and the armour as well, and it has like perfect gaps. This bow is really good to bow with. I don't know what it is, but it just makes everything a lot easier. Right, this guy's good, so we're gonna have to try. <laughs> gonna have to go quiet. I've already used two gaps, which isn't good, because I wasn't concentrating. Yep, okay, let's block up his water. Now, the good thing about me PvPing is that I know how to spam lava, so even though it may be annoying, it's like such a bonus because a lot of people don't know how to water, especially if they're new to UHC. Like, you see, this guy doesn't really know what to do. He's probably got water in his inventory, he just can't get it out. Let's lava him again, pick it up. I just being able to pick it up again is really helpful. He's still- how is he still on fire? I mean, I did say- oh, he left. Okay, he gave up. See? Guys, learn how to use lava, and you'll be so much better at PvP, trust me. Especially in UHCs, just being able to lava someone, it can just, like, kill them straight away. Going into the survival world, and once again, my Lunar Cloak looks amazing with this armor, so there's another reason to enter the giveaway. It shows up here, like, a lot brighter than it actually is, but I think that's fine, because you know, when you get diamond armor on the floor, it's easy to see when it's bright, so wouldn't really mind having it like that. I mean, that's fine in my opinion. Then all of the ores are like one color, which I personally like a lot. I don't know why I've always just preferred it when ores are more simple, especially diamonds, because when you have diamonds in lava or if they're on the other side of the cave, you might not see them in the corner of your eye if they're just like tiny little blue dots on a piece of stone. But if you see here, you can kind of tell that there's diamonds, so that's quite helpful. And the ender pearls looks pretty cool. Let's check out the bow once again. I think it's like see-through because it's made for 1.7, but I mean, it kind of helps because then you can see through the bow, <laughs> obviously, but 
you can see people behind the bow when you're shooting them and all that kind of stuff. Now the fourth and final texture pack is Daisy 1k, which is Soup 16x, but it's 128x. They basically just rescaled it. I've actually used this pack a ton and it's really good. Uh, this guy's got these stupid cocoa beans. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> It's as if it's me that has it, because every time I fishing rod, it's as if it happens. But it's actually just him. And yeah, the main thing I like about this pack is the armor and all these particles when you hit someone. Uh, I don't know why, it just looks really nice, so yeah. Is this guy gonna heal, or what is he doing? He kinda gave up right there. And we're back into the survival world. All the ores are just like outlined, and they're just kinda like the faithful outlined ores, you know, pretty basic. And the bow is faithful, like the ores. The end pill is just red, as you expected. And I think that is it for the video. So, once again, if you guys would like to get my Lunar Cloak, all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and you're automatically entered into a giveaway if you comment. You have to make sure you comment as well. I forgot about that for a second. But yeah, once you do those three steps, I will reply to someone in one or two days. And yeah, then you'll know that you've won the cloak. Let me know if you want another one of these soon, because they always do well. And I love making them. It's just nice and easy. And it's just fun, because I get to sit back, review some texture packs, and it's no struggle whatsoever. So yeah, see you later.